I just think of the future, just innovation that's, you know, becoming normalized and honestly, you know, just technology that we just always needed, you know, we needed something like this to make the trades and make the job easier and smoother. My overall experience in the military, just learning leadership skills has definitely proven to help me be a leader in the trade for my own business and even for myself to lead myself and be disciplined. I think overall we've seen that most of our project uh, times have been cut in half. So, you know, especially bigger jobs, we've noticed that from the past where it might take us two weeks to pipe a job, it only took us a week. The best example that I can remember is, is going out to California, traveling across the country to literally pipe and fit up a job. And we cut the entire project labor in half. And just being able to do that, traveling, expenses for that, we were able to come in in budget and actually save the client money because we saved them time. I, I could probably point a house out that we've been in, done work in, you know, whether the homeowner still lives there or not, that unit's still on the side of the house. <laughs> it's always cool to see that. It's like, yeah, I put that in. I'm proud of that. I did that house or I did that building. We're already pressing hydronic stuff. That's That technology's been there. It's been proven. You know, it's not like a new thing. But if you look at the theory part of it, and it's like, OK, if I can press this, well, why can't I press this? So RLS, with all the testing they've done, of course, trying to get things through UL listed testing is, is not easy. And they've done all that. And they're complex jobs. VRF jobs aren't jobs that most HVAC contractors are even you know, accustomed to doing. So introducing RLS technology, which makes the process a little easier and faster, I think will give people more confidence to do the job. Because there's no, you know, no shame in if you can raise a weld. Yeah, we can all do that. We still have to do it sometimes, but you know, RLS is just that thing that pops up in your head. Like, I need a solution. I need a good one. I need it to be reliable. You know, this is a tight spot. I can't weld here. You have that option available to you. There's no excuse not to have the tool, not to have the options to do a better job. The biggest thing that, that I really care about having a business is being able to introduce people into the trade, show them something, and maybe they want their own business, maybe they want to stay with the team. Either way, it's, it's fine with me. Being able to travel with the press tool and just having fittings on a job has allowed us to go out of state, do subcontractor work for other companies, get in and out, be productive, get paid, and most of all, make sure the job is done right.